Katie, this comes just weeks after the state appointed that director of cannabis. Yeah, this is a very unusual position and it was created to help the state implement industrial hemp programs. This is under the new Farm Bill. In her first one-on-one -on -one interview for television as cannabis director, R. Phil Buck asked her about what legalized hemp means for Florida and what she knows about other uses for the marijuana plant. Did you bring the weed? I think you were supposed to bring the weed, right? <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> Sorry, next time. <laughs> what do you know about weed? Do you, you smoke weed? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the funny thing my, my friends all laugh about with me taking this job, I don't. My sister's a doctor, we talk about it at length. Um, I try to research as much as I can and read. I do have friends that use it and I've talked to them about that. Um, Something that I don't talk about a lot is I have a daughter and uh, my daughter has mild cerebral palsy. And finding something that can help her and help her muscles relax has always been a challenge. And my first real exposure was her residing in California and getting a medical card and then questioning her. So that's my firsthand experience, talking to my daughter about her lifelong disability and how it has helped her and what it has done for her. What is the potential for the state of Florida, in ter economic impact wise, in terms of entrepreneurs making money and tax revenues off of this off of this industry? I mean, what, what's what's Florida missing out on now, and what is the potential? I think it's in the billions of dollars. I'm going to be honest. When I look at market research and the trajectory of where the sales are going, and what I've seen in other states, I think it could be in the billions. And with the environment, with the agriculture resources we have here, the land, the weather, the nurseries. Hemp is a natural product to grow here. And we have the farmers in place that can grow it. They are looking for substitute crops to replace things they're struggling with that they can't compete on. Produce, the timber, um, the citrus. So I do believe it will be a great alternative crop for those farmers. Some farmers in the Panhandle lost some crops in Hurricane Michael. Some have expressed interest in getting into the hemp industry. Could there be any program that might help them specifically, farmers that have been impacted by natural disasters? So the team is diligently looking into that. And those farmers are a priority for us. We think about them every day. And um, we don't have an answer yet, but we are researching and looking for ways to help them. And Bell will also help the state regulate some edible marijuana products, but she is not involved in other aspects of the marijuana industry, including medical and potential recreational use, which are regulated by the State Department of Health. And you can hear the rest of Phil's conversation on our website, WTSP.com.